recently used a permanent pen on a dry erase board, you know that all inks are not created equal. In today's Science Minute, Steve Spangler shares his trick for turning your dry erase art project on its head. Anybody's ever mistaken a permanent marker like this Sharpie for this dry erase over here? Well, you know that when you draw on something, your words of wisdom become indelible. Permanent, right? Because this has a particular acrylic polymer inside it. It's a binding resin that tries to bind to the surface, whereas the dry erase has a silicone oily kind of polymer, and so you can do a pretty cool thing with it. So here, watch this. All right, so uh, just a, a little stick figure, right? Good, and then how about maybe some uh, hair here? Nice hair, there you go, like this. And uh, some eyes, good. Little mouth, take a look at this. So now, watch what happens when you take regular water, just room temperature water, watch what happens when you pour it in, it actually begins to lift up the ink. Look at this. It lifts up the ink, <laughs> come on little eyes, and the ink floats to the surface like this, and the little guy floats as well because that oily silicone polymer that's there and that ink is lighter than the water, and now I have a little floating creature. And now I know what you're gonna be doing with pens. 